So one of the challenges we have here in the desert is intense sun and the potential for damage for young fruit trees. Let's talk about that next. Hello everyone, this is Dwayne with Edge of Nowhere Farm and we're coming to you on a beautiful February morning in 2023. If you guys have been following us along, you know that we have over 180 fruiting trees, vines, and shrubs here in the Arizona desert. So one of the challenges we have here in the desert are multiple things that can damage our young tree trunks. So obviously I'm looking into the sun here this morning and it's almost always a clear day here in Arizona. The biggest challenge with that is the peak of summer for us here. And that's where we can get sun scald and sun damage on our fruit tree trunks, which can actually kill a tree. We also have rodents and rabbits that like to gnaw on the tree trunks, especially in the winter if we're not getting a lot of rain. Now you can see I've got a lot of green around me here, so that hasn't been an issue here this year. However, with the sunlight and that intense sun coming, one of the things that we always do, especially for young trees, is paint these trunks. So the tree I have behind me here is one of our peach trees. This tree has been in the ground for one year. And when we got it, it was just a tiny little guy. The trunk itself was smaller than my pinky finger. You can see how well it's grown here over its first year in the ground. So one of the challenges when you have these trees pruned back, when you're establishing the structure, is you open up the trunk to sunlight. So whenever we go into that first year, when we don't have a canopy that's gonna protect the trunk from sun damage, we come back and we paint the trunk. Now you have a few different options when it comes to protecting these trunks. We have found some plastic material that can actually go around the trunk itself and protect it that way. We've also used a tree trunk paint that you can find very commonly here in Arizona at all of the big box stores. It's a non-organic latex paint that's mixed with water, about a 50-50 ratio of latex paint to water. We've used that on a lot of our trees in the past as well. But one of the things that we're wanting to do here on this farm is be as organic as we can. At the same time, we want this paint to also protect the trunk against rodents and rabbits. So with that, we've partnered with Ivy Organics. We've been doing this for the last couple of years. We've brought this to you guys before, and this really has become our go-to tree trunk paint. Now, it is a little more difficult when it comes to mixing this, and also what you need to do in order to keep it for a long period of time. However, one thing we have found, in addition to it being organic, it does a fantastic job of keeping the trees free from sun damage, but because of the essential oils that are in here, we've also noticed that we are not getting the damage from the rodents and the rabbits that we are still seeing through the old tree trunk paint. Now, as I said before, this is a little more complicated when it comes to mixing this for the first time, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what you do in order to mix a brand new can of Ivy Organics. So you can see, it's actually pretty simple to get this mix. I can tell you, it smells amazing with those essential oils in there. You can see we have one of our new pistachio trees here. This is a newly planted bare root tree. It has nothing to protect the trunk here this first year. So we have it painted with our Ivy Organics. We're also wanting to keep 
critters from gnawing on this trunk because it's so small and this is going to do a fantastic job for us in our experience. If you're not going to use the entire can, you do want to keep it refrigerated. We've actually kept it refrigerated for a couple of months, still brought it back out and has worked fine for us. But overall, it's a fantastic option and an organic option in the white for us here in Arizona to protect these young tree trunks. So now one of the things that we have for you guys is a discount code. I'm gonna leave it here on the screen for you. And also down below, it's Eon Farm, and that will get you 10% off when you check out. So make sure you use that to get yourself a discount. Also helps to support us here on the farm. So we are affiliated with Ivy Organics, and they do a great job of taking care of us here in Arizona with protecting our young trees from this intense sunlight. So just wanna thank you for joining us today. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. We cover a lot of things here on this newly established functioning farm and would love to see you on a regular basis. If you have any questions or comments, those go in the comment section down below. And our Amazon shop, I'll leave a link down in the description. That is a free painless way to help support the channel. If you start with the link down below, it doesn't matter what you buy. And don't forget that discount code for Ivy Organics. It's Eon Farm, E-O-N-F-A-R-M. Use that at checkout for 10% off. So just wanna thank you for joining us today and remind you if we can farm on the edge of nowhere, so can you. So one of the many challenges we have here growing fruit trees is the potential. Pot I got, <laughs> I got a rooster in the background. We got Violet who's in heat and we got a truck that just started in the background. Take number three. So one of the challenges we have here in the desert, <laughs> in addition to that, we have rodents and also some rabbits around here that like to new, new, new. Let's <laughs> not. And one of the challenges when you prune these trees back and start establishing the structure, stru tr 